Okay, so now we will uh, derive two important properties of a homomorphism. So let me just write it as a theorem. So phi from G to G dash is a homomorphism. So suppose this is the homomorphism. The operations of G, is, uh, G and G dash are star and star dash respectively. So I don't need to mention that. Then the first property that I want to prove is that phi of E is equal to E dash. Where what is E? E is the identity element in the group G and uh, E dash is an ele identity element of G dash. So this means that a homomorphism always maps identity to identity. Okay, so we will now just justify this. So let me write the proof. So what we will do is uh, we will write what is phi of E equal to what is E star E. Let, let me just write it like this. So e is equal to E star E. Therefore, phi of E is equal to phi of E star E. But I know that phi is a homomorphism. Therefore, phi of E star E can be written as phi of E star dash phi of E. And what is the left hand side? The left hand side is phi of E as it is. Okay. Now this phi of E, we all know that E is in the set G. E is in the group G. But where is phi of E? Phi of E is an element of what? Phi of E is an element in G dash. Correct. This phi of E is also element in G dash. This is also in G dash. So this line that we have got, this entire line, this line is actually for which set? This is in the set G dash. Okay. Now who is the identity element of G dash? We have assumed that the identity element of G dash is what? E dash. Correct. So I can write this left hand side phi of E as E dash star dash phi of E equal to i hope you understand this how this phi of e is replaced by e dash star dash phi of e because e dash is the identity element in g dash right so any element star e dash will be equal to the same element right and the right hand side i'm going to copy it as it is it is phi of e star dash phi of e okay so this this right hand side is as it is only left hand side in the in the left hand side i have replaced a by what e star a i'm something doing like this okay i'm replacing phi of e by e dash star phi of e because everything is going in the set g dash now if i look at this particular equation this particular equation gives me clearly that phi of e is on the right hand side phi of e here also is on the right hand side so i can use right cancellation law in the set g dash so by right cancellation law in g dash when i cancel phi of e phi of e from both the side on the left hand side i will be left with e dash is equal to what e dash is equal to phi of e so this is what we wanted to prove that any homomorphism if you have any homomorphism that homomorphism phi will take identity element always will be mapped to the identity element of g dash so this is a nice property of a homomorphism that identity is always mapped to the identity of the respective groups the second property that we want to prove is that if you take any element a in the group g okay let me draw the picture first so suppose this is g And I'm going to draw G dash also. And phi is a homomorphism between the two groups. 
then I'm going to take A in G. And what is the image of this A? The image of this A in the set G dash is phi of A. Correct? Because phi is between G to G dash. Now in this group G, A will have inverse. That inverse is I'm going to call A inverse. So what is the image of A inverse under the function G? The image of A inverse is phi of A inverse. Okay, what is the connection between these two elements? What is the connection between these two elements? What is the relation between phi A inverse and phi A? This property we are going to right now. So if A is in G, then the property we want to prove that is if you take the inverse of phi A, if you take phi A and if you take its inverse, it will exactly turn out to be phi of A inverse. So the so inverse of this element, inverse of phi A, inverse of phi A is nothing but what? Phi A inverse. I'm not saying that phi A and phi A inverse are equal. I'm not saying this. I'm saying what? I'm saying that in here on the left hand side, it, what is the inverse of A? The inverse of A is A inverse. On the right hand side, the same property is true. What is the inverse of phi A? The inverse of phi A is phi A inverse. Okay, we have to show this property, but this is also a very simple property. The proof is actually one line. What do we know from the above part? So by part A, what I understand is that by part one, which we have done above, we know that phi of identity is always equal to E dash. Phi maps identity to identity because phi is a because phi is a homomorphism. Now, what is this E going to be replaced by? I'm going to just re replace this E by A star A inverse because I know that A star A inverse is identity which is equal to E dash, right? Now I'm going to again use the fact that here also I have used the fact that phi is homomorphism because under homomorphism, identity always maps to identity. In the second step, again, I'm going to use that phi is homomorphism. So what will be phi of A star A inverse by the definition of a homomorphism? So let me write this since phi is homomorphism, this will be equal to phi of a star dash phi of a inverse is equal to identity dash okay so this means that phi a star dash phi a inverse is equal to identity this means that who is the inverse of phi of a this means inverse of phi of A is nothing but phi of A inverse. By this, this above line, I can say this, correct? Because this is also equal to what? This is also equal to phi of A inverse star A. Right. So, and because of that, the right hand side will again modify to phi of A inverse star dash phi of a now this complete line tells you that inverse of phi of a is equal to phi of a inverse so if i write it in mathematical form this means inverse of phi of a is equal to phi of a inverse so this is the second important property of the homomorphism the first property was phi of a equal to e dash second property is phi of a inverse is equal to phi a the whole inverse okay and now let us do one small problem let phi from g to g dash be a be an onto homomorphism all of you know what is meant by onto homomorphism. 
all elements in the core domain have a pre image if g is abelian then g dash is also abelian okay so this is very important property actually shared by homomorphism so if you have homomorphism between two groups so g is a group and g dash is also a group and if you have a homomorphism between the two groups and that homomorphism is a on to homomorphism then this problem is trying to tell us that suppose this group g is known to you that it is abelian then you can prove that this g dash group also must be what g dash must also be an abelian group so if g is abelian then g dash is also abelian so this is a very simple exercise so let us quickly prove it so what i will do is i know that this g dash is an abelian group i want to prove that this g dash is an abelian group so what i will do is i will take two elements here in the group g dash let me call them alpha and let me call them beta i want to prove that alpha star beta is equal to beta star alpha that's what i want to prove that g dash is abelian right so let me start with two elements alpha and beta belonging to g dash and what i have to prove is that alpha star beta is equal to beta star alpha i have taken any two elements in g dash and i want to star uh, i mean to say star dash okay because there's an operation on the right hand side i'm assuming to be star dash so alpha star dash beta is equal to beta star dash alpha now how will i start with this so let me start with the left hand side and uh, try to reach the right hand side so alpha star dash beta is equal to what okay now how will i simplify this now this alpha and beta are lying in the set they are lying in the set g dash okay and we know that homomorphism is which type of homomorphism it's a onto homomorphism means this alpha will have a pre image and that pre image i'm going to call x and this beta has a pre image because the function phi is onto and that pre image i'm going to call what that pre image i'm going to call y right so this alpha if has pre image x means phi of x is equal to alpha means image of x under the homomorphism phi is equal to how much alpha means x maps to alpha under the function phi so this alpha can be now replaced by what phi of x star dash again beta has a pre image so what can i say about beta and y phi of y must be equal to how much beta means y is the pre image of beta so beta i will replace by what phi of y but i know that phi is also so here i have used that phi is on to okay so why could i do this because i just know that phi is what phi is a on to function now i also know that phi is a homomorphism if i know that phi is a homomorphism what is phi of x star dash phi of y i can replace it by definition of homomorphism it is equal to phi of x star y this is the definition of a homomorphism c star dash has been replaced by star here because i'm taking phi of x star y but x and y are elements in the set x and y is in g and i know that g is g is abelian it is given to us that the group g is abelian so phi of x star y can be written as what phi of y star x because the group g is abelian and again i will say that phi is a homomorphism and therefore this phi of y star x can be written as phi y star dash phi of x okay because i am using the fact that it's a homomorphism that what is phi of y phi of y is beta star dash what is phi of x phi of x is alpha so i started with the left hand side alpha star dash beta and i have reached the right hand side beta star dash alpha and where were alpha and beta alpha and beta were the elements of g dash and this is true for any alpha beta 
this means that the group g dash with respect to the second operation star dash is what this is an abelian group so we have proved that if you have a homomorphism which is on to homomorphism between a group g and g dash and if g is abelian then the group g dash is also an abelian group okay